Steelers today. Oh though, my god! <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> I ain't lying though. He took the headset off. He's gone. That Adam was ha- us. The podcast. He is gone. He said he, he's gone. Adam said he's breaking up with Zach. Zach. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Penford Sports Podcast. As always, I am your host, Adam Malachuk, along with my honorable, beautiful, righteous co-host, Austin Rahilly. The Carpentry Busta. Two. Give us the big reveal, Austin. Tell- so I've been saying for weeks now that I was going to get a mullet, mm. and my awesome barber, mm. Stubbs, <laughs> yeah, Stubbs, hooked you up. Hooked me up. Show us, give us the reveal. With a mullet. Give us a little. It's beautiful. I like the way your beard hairs, hairs just beard, beard went hairs. with the wind. Right. Well, if you Ooh. notice that we sound crispier, sexier, our voices sound a little bit smoother, it's because they do. It's because we made a big boy investment. And we got new mics. They're not going to cut in and out oh, anymore. Yeah. We got the, the Behringer. Yep. Which is an XLR uh, audio interface, thanks to our uh, our good people over at Penford Media. Uh, and then I purchased some nice XLR mics, so it's crisper, it's clearer, it's just all around better. And we are very excited to not have any audio troubles. Yeah, seriously. Because we were we deserve all- to yeah, have. I mean, we audio. We, we, we were, were going with a few weeks without no mics. So. Yeah, and we, yeah, we were recording off iPhone audio, and then our audio was cutting in and out. But we yep. are very, very, very happy we're back. to have great audio. So, without further ado, let's, write, let, let's get right into the show. Uh, yeah, and uh, wow, good for you, dude. <laughs> let's start it off with your team. Oh, I do want to say this before we start. Let the record show that every single week, every single pick of mine this week was right, which is crazy. I had literally every single pick right, and that just doesn't happen. No. Like you should have been on NFL Pick'ems, dude. Dude, I know. You would have won I, I, mad bread. Mad bread. Inbred. What? Whoa. Easy. <laughs> Easy. So it started off with your team. Tell us a little bit about that game. It ended in a heartbreak, Dude, honestly. it's just, listen, it was, what was it, th- like three seconds left? Yeah, Something about like that. that. And but, well, when it happened, the time was zero. Right, but even before that, they could have spiked the ball, mm-hmm. you know? They could have, you know, even thrown it away. But they go ahead and do a trick play when it was... They were tied, weren't they? Uh, yes. And they just, they effed up. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, just send it to overtime. Like, why are you even, and then you risk that happening. Yeah. It, Dumb as It wasn't great. Again, I don't know why we started with the Patriots, to be honest. We're actually going to come back to that. Um, well, you know. It's, it, it's because my thing didn't load fast enough. Let's start with the actual game of the, okay. the first game of the week, Thursday, December 15th. We had the 49ers and Mr. Brock, Brock Purdy. Dirty Purdy. Dirty Purdy. I Dirty like Purdy. I like that. Got after it. And killed them birdies. Ooh. And uh, Geno Smith is sitting at a 7-7 seven and seven record thanks to Mr. Purdy himself. Okay, but let's to be 13. honest. That's, that's not bad for Geno Smith. Let's be honest. No. When, when he was playing for was it the Jets? Yeah. Awful. Terrible. Awful, awful. He had Brandon Marshall. He had um, a couple of other studs over there, but 7-7 seven and seven is probably his best record as a starter. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, we but, talked about but Brock a little bit. Purdy, man. Yeah, I mean, we talked a little bit about it last week, about Geno maybe possibly being a bit of a fluke. Um, Zach didn't didn't agree with us. Um, and I, I don't know. I mean, jury's still out. Um, you know, he started off super hot and then got left on the counter and got cold. So 49ers, they just keep heating up. You know, Brock Purdy, this is their third string quarterback, and he is throwing dimes. The guy looks like he's been playing in the league for 10-plus years. He's so comfortable. 
he's calm, he's collected. Um, I mean, you know, not much else to say about him. Like, Even last week, Brock Purdy beat the GOAT. Yeah. Blew, blew the GOAT out. Yeah, and that's, blew him out. That's the first time a um, a non-starter has beat him in a regular season. Yeah, it's incredible. It's, Kudos to 30, Brock Purdy. 35-7, to seven, like... Brock Purdy is just, he's an animal. He's a dog. He's a young quarterback. He's confident. He's not cocky. He's got a lot of weapons, though. A lot you of know, weapons. Put him like, on mean, the... Christian McCaffrey. He's got George Kittle. You know, Debo. Like Debo Brandon well, Ayuk. Not, not Debo anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's out. He didn't even have Debo. Oh, boy. Yeah, he didn't even have Debo. So, Brock Purdy is getting it done out there for San Francisco, and it's exciting to see. Hmm. Um, yeah. And uh, let's get into the biggest comeback in NFL history. We have our native Minnesota man himself, Andy Sorensen. Let's talk about that game. Yeah, that was wild. Honestly, I kind of had given up hope at halftime. I was like, this game's over. They were 33 up on us. We had nothing. I was like, I'm shutting this, this, this game off. I'm like, it's over. And then I came back and checked the score in the third quarter, and I was like, wait a second i don't know if it was the third or fourth quarter but it was like a tie game and i'm like how did we come back from a 33 point deficit in like a quarter and a half and so i turned it back on and we were just getting into overtime and i i was just focused laser focused on the tv i'm like what's gonna happen here i have to rewind this game see what happened in the fourth quarter because i was like there is no way this just happened and honestly it was yeah i mean the vikings did it once again obviously it was the colts which isn't exactly a great team this year but it was a game of the for the ages it was incredible i mean like it was not to mention the the vikings blowing or the 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 catch-up but what a close yeah. game. You like, texted our I group. mean, that first half was just absolutely miserable to watch. And then something happened in the second half to create that spark for us. And Can I tell you what yeah, happened? Was... Matt Ryan happened. <laughs> yeah, Matt that's, that's true. Had, I mean, uh, now, yeah. Matt, now Matt Ryan has had the two biggest upsets in football history <laughs> happen, and he's uh, on the other side of them. Matt Ryan and the Colts happened. Matt Ryan was cooking up way too early, and he mm. was gassed by the second half. And you could tell. He, no, he was cooking up, and then by the second, second half, he was burnt. Yeah. It was just, he was crying on his wife's shoulder that night when he got home. Well, his wife is – I mean, he's got millions of dollars to cry into. So, I mean, if I was going to yeah. cry, I'd want to cry into millions of dollars personally. But you texted our group and said that you stopped watching in the fourth quarter. So I don't know. Pull up the um, pull up the points on that, like the box score on that game, and see when they actually scored. Yeah, I mean Minnesota scored twenty two points in the fourth. So that's imp- that's impressive. So I mean you you gave up when it was thirty thirty what uh, thirty three fourteen. Yeah, and and even still, it's like yeah, it's over, but. I mean, twenty-two in the fourth, and then to to win it with a field goal in the and the overtime—that's just that's impressive. Like that's well, and Mister Kirko Thuggins, I think he <laughs> threw for like four hundred fifty yards that game. So what did he throw for? That was pretty impressive in itself. That I mean, he never throws more than three. Four, yeah, four hundred and sixty yards, four tutties, and two interceptions. That's incredible. So. You know who the highest uh, – I, I read this today, speaking of interceptions. Do you know who the highest – this season who has the highest amount of interceptions? Yeah, probably Zach Wilson. Nope. Guess again. Mitch Trubisky? Nope. Is this some – Andrew? Nope. Aaron Rodgers? Nope. Patrick Mahomes? Nope. Why did I even say him? I hate him. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's about to get controversial because once we get to the Kansas City game, we got a Kansas City fan on the line. Um, so I it's going to no get idea. controversial. Mr. Dak Prescott himself. Really? You know who has the least amount of interceptions? Joe Burrow. My boy, Danny Dimes. Daniel Jones. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. I yep. guess uh, Dak Prescott needs to take some of that motivational speaking and apply it to his own. Well, I'm going to be career. honest with you, Andy. I don't think Dak, Dak Prescott's even a good quarterback. To be 
to be quite real with you. I he's think a he's, misfier. Yeah, I think he's he's overhyped. So, but well, dude, I don't like him either. But... How... Cooper Rush was better. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper Rush was better than him. Right. But yeah, Andy, that had to be exciting for you uh, as a Vikings fan. Who do you guys play this week? Um, I'm not sure on that one. They play the Giants. Ooh. 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 Big friend feud over here. Ooh, me and me and Andy might be getting into it next episode. Me and Andy might be getting into it. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be a game. It's going to be a game. It's going to yeah. be a game. And of course, it's going to be a one score game if we win again. Oh, probably. That's- Every every single game this season has been a one score game. But who nail cares? Biter. Because it's a nail biter, bro. That's good football to watch. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, not for you, but right, it's good football to watch. Yeah, that's a good point. No one wants to see a blowout. It's boring. Yeah, no. I mean, cool. You know, it's cool to blow out. It's cool if you're the other. If team. you watch it, it's it's cool if you're a San Francisco 49ers fan. You're watching Brock Purdy and the third string put in work, but yeah. All right, then we had the Ravens and the Browns. How about them Ravens? They suck. Tyler Huntley, 17 for 30. 138 yards and one. That's actually, 17 for 30 is awful. 53%? That's awful. Roughly? That's not good no. at all. You're telling me like half of the th- the his throws were not on the mark at all? Good is 60. Anything yeah. Over or or sixty percent. I would say good. Uh, fair is sixty. Yeah. Seventy is good. You know, eighty is great. You know, mm. but that's yeah. Three to thirteen. Mister Deshaun Watson. He still looked didn't look good though. No, Deshaun kill him. Like, what was his? What was pull up Deshaun's numbers? 18 for 28, so... He only had 161 yards. Yeah, and one touchdown. Yeah, that's... Yeah, no. It's horrible. Not great at all. And horrible. Talk about Nick Chubb. So bad. 21 carries for 99 yards. That's That's terrible. That's horrible, dude. What's the... I'm going to do the math right here. That is horrible. That's a 4.7 yardage average. Oh, it's 4.7? Right there. That's it? (laughs) That's it? Kareem Hunt had a better... 6.0. 6.0. Oh, my gosh. Let's so talk put, about... The Browns uh, are disappointing, man. I did pick them to win, though. See, that's great. 13 carries for 125. Yeah. St- that's not bad. That's almost a first down every single play. Yeah. But ah, that's incredible. Tyler, that's a big loss, though. Lamar Jackson, that's a big loss. I don't even... Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about this game anymore because it's dumb. Another nail-biter. Dolphins and Bills. Zach, I know you want to jump in. Tell us about your boy Josh Allen. <laughs> Guys, I was actually watching the game. What a fourth <laughs> quarter. Mike McDaniel. He was he, actually he watching the game. Actually. <laughs> what? Well, because you guys know I don't watch the NFL. I'm just here to kick it with you guys, right? And you're here with, for the highlights, you know? Right. right. You, but, you come to I, us. You listen to our show every week to get the news so you know what's going on. Absolutely, bro. But, I mean, what a game. What a fourth quarter. It was snowing in Buffalo. It was magical. Josh Allen came back and he won it. I mean. Yeah, but Josh Allen sucked that game. Listen. No, no, no. But he finds a way to win, bro. That's a Super Bowl. That's a Super Bowl contender right there. I like the Bills this year. And, you know, Kansas City's got. I mean, they, they're going to have their hands full with Josh Allen, baby. Okay, yeah, so say- let's just talk about Josh Allen's completion and attempts percentage. 25 for 40 is horrible. Six, That's no, 62%. 62%. It's fair. Oh. But not for Josh uh, Allen. Yeah, exactly. For Josh Allen? Yeah, that's... Hey. 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 Did he lose? Hey, did he lose? No. He, he didn't he got lose. the job done, baby. He's a dog. All By right? A few, he win. didn't even... It was, the, it was the kicker who won it. This is he true. won by three with a bum Miami team. Oh, horrible this year. Oh, uh, and John uh, has entered the chat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, okay. give it up for Mr. Nice. Jonathan Luis nice. Colon Diaz Ocasio Torres. Thank you for welcoming me in. Dude. That's how you, right there. That's hey, how you, that's how you enter the conversation. He didn't welcome you and you just got in that, bro. I love it. It's, he, I'm I sorry. I have to say that the Dolphins have not been playing well and they almost beat Josh Allen in the Oof. Bills. We, we don't have a problem in the playoffs. Oof. But. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Bro, they... Uh, I love, Kansas City I love hates the, the Bills, dude. 
This kid is. This kid is. He's. This is. This is my buddy John from work. Um, one of my only actual work friends. Everybody says they have work friends, but like. Or like a week. But they're like. They're, but they're like. You only talk to them at work. I have spent time at John's house. His wife has cut my hair, and I have beat him at Madden twice. Three. No, three times. I beat him at Madden three times. On PlayStation, I don't even play taste play PlayStation. So oh, wait, those are my on. accolades. You got a P four, but but John's a good guy. John's a good guy. John's a class act. He's the only um, good person that I know that also happens to be a KC fan. So that's saying something. Do you have a P four there, John? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I mean, if you want to run it up after, I, mean, I do. Oh, I do want to run it up. Oh, oh, John, 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 John talks big game, but I found out, bro. If, he if Adam can beat you, he's all almost talk, beat bro. you. I beat oh, you, you last week. That's, that's Madden thirteen. Who catch cares? Me, you should catch be me in Madden twenty three. Can I be honest with you though? When Madden thirteen came out, you had an Xbox, right? Yeah. Guess when the when the first time I bought my Xbox three sixty was? Yeah, like guess the year two thousand seventeen. Like, okay. Yeah, dude. I didn't play Xbox growing up. Yeah, I don't want to hear it, bro. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Bro, that's... <laughs> I'm a dog. I put in the work, put in the hours, and I take what's ours. That's just that's just the way of the world, you know? I'll but... say a bonus clip right after the show. Run it. Run it? John, Adam. Well, John it, isn't man. John isn't in the same spot as us, and I don't have capabilities to play online currently. But John and I ran it. Madden tournament. We sh- dude, after the Super Bowl, let's do a Madden as, tournament. As you see, I'm keeping a small child alive. You yeah. know, I, I, <laughs> John, might not be hey, Austin's you, a be. father too, so yeah. I beat I beat fathers at Madden. That's just what I do. <laughs> and you guys both have a mullet. He's got his hair is even more like Patty Mahomes. Yeah, that's. I took a so at our company Christmas party. I took a picture of him and I, and uh, I put. Us and Joe Burrow next to each other, and we literally look like the Walmart version of uh, we look like the XL Walmart version of Joe Burrow and, and Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> funny. It's pretty funny. But all right, John came in with an entrance, and yeah, jo- I-, I agree with you though, John. I mean, it's not saying much that Josh Allen beat the Dolphins, who have a- have been on a steady, and I mean steady decline. Um, they've been on a decline for a while now. But they're led by the fierce leader and the TikTok sensation, Mike McDaniel, baby. The Dolphins were coming in hot. Yo, they're an NFL team. I mean, come on, guys. A win's a win here, all right? Josh Allen's going to be the guy this year in the postseason. Is it Mike or Josh McDaniels? It don't matter. He's a thug either way. No, no yeah, but there's, a, but there's a Mike McDaniel and, and Josh. Josh. Yeah, they're both. Uh, let me see real quick. One is the sullen coach of the of the Raiders. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah. sullen. He has no testosterone. I mean, he <laughs> probably has a dual vasectomy. Oh, He's just that's, looks bad on that's Josh him. McDaniels. <laughs> he used to he used to be a Patriots uh, yep. coordinator. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's actually a very good description of him, John. That was that was a really that wasn't even a hot take. John promised me hot takes this this week, but he hasn't given me hot takes. He's given me facts and. I love to see it. I love to see it. So, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with a lot of what he said. But but honestly, Zach, um, I'm glad your boy got it done. I'm glad your boy got it done. As he does, bro. He knows how to win games. I mean, listen, there's going to be Some would say that's all that matters. What's that? Some would say that's all that matters, knowing how to win games. I don't care, all right? Josh Allen wins the game, all right, bro? Now, listen here. Listen here, all right? Yep. What were we just talking about? Uh, Josh McDaniels <laughs> and Mike McDaniel. Yeah. The Dolphins coach is a, is a little thug, bro. We all love this guy. He's walking around with his shirt on that says, I wish it were colder right, right before the game. Listen, he's a class act. He's hilarious. We love Mike McDaniels. Mike McDaniels is a J. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. But anyway, let's get into the next game. John, you're going to want to talk about this. The Chiefs, barely. And I mean barely. Barely. I have a barely. huge statement. Beat say. the Texans. Say your statement before John chimes in. 
To beat the wait, Texans what, by statement? six points? Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Statement? Come on. Wait, to Texas? To the, to, the, to the worst wait, team? Wait, wait, wait. Worst team in the league by six points. Are you kidding me? Uh, Patty Mahomes, dude. Uh, go back to doing safe farm Patty, go homes. Because I'm telling you. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he, because I'm telling you, dude. He's be, got a pen like he's been writing notes. Listen. <laughs> do you have anything else to say? Say it again. Does he have anything else to say? Do you have anything else to say? No, take the floor. It doesn't matter if you have anything oh else to say. Oh, my gosh. It's the GOAT QB, 36 of 41. What other quarterback do you know? Who has ever thrown 36 of 41? Tom Brady. 87.8%. I mean, how many how many, how many, many tosses did Josh throw? 40? Only Oof, 25 I mean, what did 40. He, uh, tw- 22 of them? 20 maybe? Tom Brady. What, what's the stat? Tom Brady. Tom Brady, never. Listen, thir- 336 yards. Sensational. Amazing. Juju Smith-Schuster cannot hold on to the ball. No, <laughs> Juju's, I, Juju's I, been garbage, man. <laughs> Juju Smith-Schuster cannot hold on to the ball. No. Isaiah Pacheco is the GOAT running back. He's, he's going to Okay, hold on. Year. He's I wouldn't say amazing. I wouldn't say he's the GOAT. Sensational. He has been sensational. I have him in my fantasy, so I would know. Listen, OT, it's fine. Our defense bailed us out. A win is a win. The loss was not because of Mahomes. Mahomes is going to do great in the postseason. I as, think As um, he always does. I, I think we're going to have no problem with Josh Allen. And I think Joe Burrow is going to be in for a rude awakening. However, the way the playoff picture is looking, Allen and Burrow are going to go against each other. So we'll be whoever wins. Everybody's a loser against KC. I mean, oh uh, God. What, what's your take on Mahomes? You know, I know, I know you got some. Uh, My I, take. Can I just say that the, that Tom Brady, when, when he was on the Patriots, beat him every single time in the playoffs. Joe Burrow beats him every single time. Yep. 3-0. Yep. 3-0. 3-0. Three Let's give me Joe Burrow. <laughs> give me Joe Burrow. Let's... Because guess what? If they ever Let's... face off in the playoffs again, it's over for Patty Mahomes. He's going to have to legally change his name to Patty Go Holmes because he's that trash against Joe Burrow. He cannot compete at the level of a quarterback that Joe Burrow is. Joe Burrow is smarter. He's calmer in the pocket. He's way better looking. He's just a stud, bro. Joe Burrow's a dog, an absolute dog, and Patty Mahomes can't compete with him. Try to tell me he can. Try to tell me he can. Adam, I'm glad I gave you a little bit of clickbait there. Joe Joe Burrow is no chance for Patrick Mahomes. I'm telling you. That's why he's three and zero against Patrick Mahomes, right? That's why he's three and zero against Patrick Mahomes, right? In regards to the whole Tom Brady thing, Mahomes won the game. He won the game in that AFC Championship. D won Ford the game. His- he lost. D Ford had his he toe lost. over the line. I'd like to say that the in check what that world the- is a win or lose? The, the can you tell me? Patriots can you can take- you tell me in what world when another quarterback beats him that the other quarterback still won? In what world? It's- if you're talking Listen. about completions and everything, yes, but. But who cares oh, oh, when you win? Uh, when you win a game, you win a game. Yep. That's the difference. It doesn't matter. Maybe Don't matter if you win by inch or a mile. Winning's winning. D. D. Ford was on a one-year contract. His toe was over the line. I mean, it gave Tom Brady another chance to get over the ball. It's it's night and day, dude. Patrick Mahomes. Is yeah, the it goal. is night and day. Joe Burrow beats him every time. Night and day. Day and Never. night. Joe Burrow beats his. Every day and night, night. Not even close, dude. It's okay. not even. What close. do you mean? It's three and zero. You're right. It's not I mean, close. Patrick Mahomes nail, can't beat him. Always, it's always some odd call. It's always who, whoever's checked. Oh, this know, guy for, thinks the refs are. Yeah. Are, okay. Listen, the refs are. Sports right. betting. Did you Listen, see that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. You know I'm gonna say it. We will get to that. Adam, I'm gonna say it. Say it. You, you, you brought me to this point. Sports betting was the reason that. Ah, it's the reason Joe Burrow lost in the Super Bowl. I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, you tell me this. <coughs> SoFi Stadium, brand spanking new. Snoop Dogg's playing the performance. Dr. Dre's playing the performance. Where are they from? Where are they from? LA. Oh, that's right. They're from L.A. Matt Stafford is in the Super Bowl. He's Where's from he LA. from? He's L.A. Michigan. Who else what? is? Matt, where, where Matt he Stafford's pl- from? Well, when he played. Oh, well, most he grew up in Michigan. LA. Who else is from Michigan? Eminem. Who is playing at home? L.A. Where? Their own stadium. The Super Bowl. They had to win. It was in it was in the cards. Robert Kraft, who you've met, 
Did you see the snakiness in his eyes when you met him? Was there like a cold? I was not looking in his eyes. Was he a you didn't want to look was him in the re- eyes. No, I hate him. Okay, I don't want to get back into this, but if you no, hate him, no, why'd no. you take a picture no, of him? we are. Okay, listen. So let me ask you, John. If you had the uh, say, if you hated uh, Roger Goodell, and you saw him at the at the NFL draft, and you wanted to take a picture with him, you could take a picture with him for the for the hype. But you don't, you don't necessarily have to like them. May we not you're do this just for the sell clout, sell Lord? Sell for the clout. You're for the clout. For the clout. John has. That's what I'm saying, bro. Well, John has been a sellout for the clout before, haven't you, John? You know, I've, you know. I've, I've done things politically I'm not proud of. Yeah, but that's okay. for another podcast. That's for okay. that's for my podcast coming out after this one when John and I are chalking it up, just me and him. John, you, you want to? John, you want to do a podcast with me? I, I I'm tempted. All right, I'm done. We'll we'll work out logistics. What do we? What is that? It's him and Roger Goodell, dude. Oh, your your in, my phone. Your Instagram cut off you know, your face, though. I don't know. And then you know, got... if you would have argued with me a little bit more about Patrick Mahomes, I was going to ask you if you ever met anybody who's actually in the NFL. But uh... me? Yes, I have. I work with a guy that's in the NFL. Oh, he wasn't in the NFL. Yeah, he, he was, was in the NFL for two years. He played for the Washington Redskins. Well, I know who was in the NFL. He, he was the... Whoa, 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 whoa. The Washington Commanders, my friend. No, they were the, the Redskins Washington. when he played for them. He, he was the Redskins, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Listen, so dude. don't don't try to don't try to don't try to bait me ever again, John, Listen, because I'm gonna win nine, some, 95 some, percent of the time. I got some, you wanted me on the podcast. I did. Um, I, I, because is this is it spits contra- controversy. That's him and Megan Fox, and his caption it, says, "OMG, she's so hot." Listen, <laughs> go ahead. I I got some more tea for you. All right. So you know. If it's about Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes, I don't want to hear it. Hey, real quick, your kid's pacifier fell out of his mouth. You want to put that back in? Oh, God. No, he's sleeping. That's my godson. Listen. It is. Never been a QB like him. He is the winningest quarterback in November and December. Nobody's beating him. In two months? Come on. He's such a – over every season, season season over season, he's great. Oh, my God. Um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How many Super Bowls has he won? It doesn't matter how many Super Bowls. Yes, it won. does. Super Bowls win it all, or uh, well, I mean, it does win it all. About I mean, the Patriots cheated to get a bunch of Super Bowls. Oh so my! Do I don't want to hear that, dude. <laughs> really I don't, don't. want to hear that. Where, I'm a where the ball I'm really a huge Patriots the- fan, and let me tell you right now, they're Listen, John. Look, how about how about those iPads that they gave the opposing team, and they were all uncharged? You know, I will say this: iPad. John I, we used keep to be a Patriots fan, and then he. Switched. I was a Patriots fan. I was. He's a traitor. I was. You are I a was. traitor no. like Brady, dude. Before Brady left. It was right if you before, leave Brady before Brady left. It was right when Patrick Mahomes started to get hot. No, no, he no. He said, no, I have no, a resemblance no. to this guy. I'm kind of like a bigger no, version no, of him. No, no, no. Yeah. It's kind of like me with Joe Burrow. Like, you resignate because you kind of look like him. <coughs> but. Not even close. Well, Listen, st- story about when I when I met somebody in the NFL. NFL. Make it quick. I met Heath Evans. <coughs> Who? Heath Evans, never heard. Former of him. fullback for yeah. the New England Patriots. Yeah, Heath Evans was in... former fullback for the New Orleans Saints. He's got a couple chips. Yeah, he was on the NFL Network, and they made allegations of him committing sexual assault. On you or? <laughs> <laughs> Were you touched by him? Were you touched by Heath Evans? Where did he touch I you, wasn't. John? This is what I have to say. This is strictly for Adam. Okay. I asked him about playing with Tom Brady. Yep. Turns out Heath Evans is a Calvinist. Oh so I asked, no! What's that? So I asked, it's a religious thing. Did did you did you share the straight and narrow with Tom Brady? Yep. He said, "Well, before I was a Calvinist, I thought anybody could just make it up there." So good old Tommy asked me about the Lord, and I didn't I didn't know what to tell him. All I got to say is. If he's a Calvinist, you can become a Calvinist too. Stop pushing your Calvinist stuff on me, bro. Not on this podcast. We can have a theological co- podcast if you want, but not on this podcast. But not, listen, not today. How does this? How does this correlate oh to the my. Chiefs game? Tell how me. does this correlate to the Chiefs game? How does it? Patrick correlate? Mahomes was predestined for greatness. Oh my gosh! You don't don't even give me this predestination Mahomes. stuff, bro. This, he he got bro, this some Cam Newton. Oh my god. Uh, oh, where we at? The, the desert. desert. The desert. Oh, listen, listen. Cam Cam Newton can talk all he wants. Patrick Mahomes only, only has one wife. Say Cam, what you gotta say about Patrick Mahomes' Patrick, wife. She's the worst. 
Last week, she said the most true thing ever. What'd she say? She said that the refs almost cost the Chiefs the game. That's all I have to say. Yeah, of course That's she said that because it was popular for her to say. And it was the one was smart thing she's maybe said in her whole life. The rest of her life she spent with his weird brother making TikToks on people's, like, special numbers. Yeah, Sean Taylor's, dude. Sean that pissed me off. Yeah. I, I knew it was going to stir it. That's the most truthful thing she said. She's redeemed herself. The all game right, wasn't let's really move on from the Chiefs real no, quick. No, no, no. I want to ask uh. one more question. <laughs> one more. All right, all right, shoot. Who's the GOAT? No, no, no. Patrick Mahomes, he's... No. You will never, in you our know, lifetime... I, See a quarterback. I stop. For the stop. Local news station. Stop. Somebody used to support for the no local news station. Uh, when I, you know, when I switched to Kansas City, I said, "Yeah, screw Tom Brady. He left New England." I was a little bit hurt, whatever. And um, she said, "We're just so grateful for all that Tom gave us, all the rings, all the experiences." And I just, I just don't know. I don't know how how somebody could could be that committed to somebody. I so can read the tell. Let me ask you this, brother. Seven rings. Seven rings. Greatest playoff quarterback in history. The most clutch quarterback in history. No. The man no. who is a second-half king. Well, Let me ask you this. Even... Do you truly believe that in our lifetime you will ever see anybody that has performed at the level that Tom Brady has performed in his career? Not even Josh Allen, man. Not even Joe Burrow. Josh Allen isn't even that good. But what? It's horrible. Okay, Andy Sorensen, get out of here. Yeah, you sound like he's Andy Sorensen. He's 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 horrible. Josh Allen is the most famous loser of all time. I don't know how he loses, <laughs> and all everybody feels bad for him. Changes the playoff rules. I mean, the OT stuff is ridiculous. Josh Allen is terrible. He's horrible. He runs way too much. He's gonna get Lamar, where you just run, 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 and then you suck. All right, it's, Zach. It's, it's Zach, wonderful. chime in, please. Well, Jonathan, can I ask you real quick, my guy? Are you one of those people that would say you're a Tom Brady diehard fan until he left New England? Then mm. you said Tom Brady, and now you're a, a Patty Mahomes fan? <laughs> Is that what you're telling us, Jonathan? It takes teams to win football games. Hey, can we That's just pa pause real quick? Can we can we just say how spot on Zach pronounced your name? That's impressive. Most people mess it up. I mean, I know I did when I first interviewed you at Yankee. I mean, Johnny. you know, I got grayscale on my phone, but it looks like Zach's beard is is maybe orange. Um, and for somebody with a beard, I really appreciate it. You you, you did it your job. Zach is I as guess. Midwesterner as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zach was born and raised in the UP, moved down to the to the Lower Peninsula. He's out there in Michigan, just getting it. And uh, you respect the that's whiteness. That's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent. But was my assessment fair? No, not even close. It was more oh, than no. fair. It, it takes teams to win football games. I mean, I'm a team That's guy. That's a political answer. But it's like were you a, a political Tom Brady fan? Were you a diehard Tom Brady fan? I'm, Brady jersey. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Titan. I'm a big fan. You know, I almost played football. And like Adam, Adam never played football. But, you but, know, but I'm I, good at it. I went, I, I went to summer conditioning. And that's the truth. Uh, you know, I was going to play linebacker, maybe tight end. And then, you know. Just the pizza. Wait, and the wait, wait, hold up. Stop for a second. You're going to play either linebacker or tight end? How? I'm, I'm just – How – bro, how do you have I'm the – how did you have the body for linebacker and tight end? How does that make any sense? I'm a, I'm a fast linebacker, but I'm a short tight end. That's all day. That's all day. Take it. Take it. Okay, okay. All right, fair enough. But, all day. Uh, so were you a New England fan, though? <laughs> <laughs> I – no, I, yeah, I was a New England fan. I was a fan of the Pats. I was a fan of the history. I mean, uh, of coaching staff, of offense, defense, special teams. I mean, I'm a team guy. Listen, I, and I then don't want to. At I don't what wanna... moment? Hold on, guys. Hold on. And at what moment did you become a Patrick Mahomes fan? Listen, listen. <laughs> I didn't become a Patrick Mahomes fan. What event in history occurred that turned you into a Patrick Mahomes fan? And no longer okay. a New okay. Patriots. It was third and eight. It was the wild card round against the, uh, against the Tennessee Titans. I expected Tom Brady to do what Tom Brady always does. And the defense put him on. Oh. 
throw when he threw that pick? Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry on the other side was running through the Kansas City defense like Adam runs through girlfriends. Ooh. And I mean, after, it was at that moment There's I knew I couldn't. There's some truth to that. I, I had I had to change teams. I once I saw you know the decline of what was going on. I I watched every game Cam Newton played. I rooted for Cam because <laughs> he was a man of God. I used to repost hype videos. You know when he talk about the forgotten Cam and the the different Cam. I I was in their corner. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an alert. It is official now that Jonathan. Lewis, Cologne, Diaz, Ocasio, Diaz, Torres, whatever his last name is, Cologne, is hammered. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's gone. He's gone. So that was the moment that I jumped the Mahomes bad wagon, and my life has been different ever since. <laughs> Your life well, has been. Very you were predestined. Some would say you were predestined to be a Mahomes fan. Okay, hold on. Sure. One, one second here. So when Zach said you switched. From a Brady fan to a Patrick Mahomes fan, so you you're telling me you, you you don't really think that Brady's the goat, even though you were a. I think you just have to ask Brock Purdy if Brady's the goat. Ooh, okay, that was a, that's a good that one. was a very that's good, a good answer, one. dude. That's that a, was a th- good th- answer. You got to ask Joe Burrow to too if, if Brady was the goat. I think you have to ask Antonio Brown if Brady was really the goat. Okay, maybe he might take, say his oh, wife. Hold up, stop for a second. We that, can't. We might. can't take anything that Antonio Brown says as literal. Dude, Antonio kid's Brown's, a clown. The, he's a literal clown, dude. He's literally he's on house arrest. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the cops are just waiting to get a warrant to arrest him. The guys don't don't bring Antonio Brown into this. Whole lot of money. Get him out of here. Don't don't ever. Okay, please, so please don't ever bring him up as a valid <laughs> argument on my podcast again. <laughs> listen, when guys. You, listen, guys. You, there's a better argument here, though, right? There was lots of players in the NBA, young players, when Michael Jordan was old as shit. They got the best of Mike a couple times, like Allen Iverson famously. Are you saying that he's better than Michael Jordan? No. Bro, Jordan was old as shit, and they were young and hungry, dog. And they got the best of him on one play, all right, man? It ain't the same thing, all right? Listen, yeah, listen. Brady's been winning Super Bowls for a I- decade, bro. <laughs> Allen Iverson was decades. a better player. Nobody no, you did not that. just say that, dude. You did Allen not just Iverson say Allen Iverson player. was a better player than Michael Jordan. You literally did not just say that. You were okay, the most so hold on, controversial hold on, hold on, hold on. person I've ever met in my life, John. So, John. I used to like you. I don't know if I do anymore. So, John, this was a trial run for you to be on a podcast, and <laughs> now you're just – you're fired. I don't know, though, because he is he is bringing – like, this is entertainment, dude. He knows how to entertain a crowd. I will I will say this about John. He's, you know, he's a youth pastor, a great preacher. He knows how to work a crowd, and that's what he's doing to us right now. We're falling for his trap. He's baiting us. He's literally baiting us, and he's waiting for us to just keep reacting, and that's the only reason he keeps going because he wants us to react. So if we stop reacting, he'll, he'll take it easy. John will start to explain how Allen Iverson is better than – No, we're not – this isn't an NBA <laughs> podcast. This isn't an NBA it, it, don't podcast. Worry. Don't worry. We're going to talk it's, about it's... the Steelers and Panthers, but I want you to – John, I, I like your insight – so just you know, let's let's keep hearing your 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 point point of view. Steelers beat the the Panthers twenty four to sixteen. Um, PJ Walker couldn't get it done. Clearly, uh, the Steelers could twenty four to sixteen. Did you watch that game? No, I didn't. But Nor Mr. Trubisky finally wins a game. Oh, was he in? Yeah. Oh wow. Yep. Zach did. Yeah, Zach, I didn't. I don't even know why I'm asking you. I know you didn't watch that game. John, did you watch that game? course not oh yeah it's not it wasn't really worth watching but uh lions and jets give it up for the lions seven and seven they started with a one and six record they are now seven and seven and they are a legitimate playoff threat up we got christopher entering the chat we got christopher entering the chat oh oh oh, chris hilchey welcome to the podcast we are glad Let's you're here. Go. You've missed a few weeks, Chris. You've missed a few weeks. You've missed a few weeks, but we're glad you're back. We're talking about the Lions and the Jets, and we're talking about the boys from Detroit. Getting it done. Perfect. Getting it done. Perfect. The up-and-coming Detroit Lions. Uh, listen, I said this when right before you joined. The Lions are legitimate playoff threat. For Absolutely. Their I definitely agree. And hold on, can I can we rewind? Yeah, because sure, sure. John had said oh, so. Not back to John. No, I am. I am. 
John had said that Josh Allen is booty cheeks. Um, that what what else did you say, John? Well, he he did say that Allen Iverson what was the, better than Michael I, Jordan. All I spoke was the truth. He said that Allen Iverson was better than Michael Jordan. He said, um, <laughs> man, people got a lot of like personal opinions about that man. Like there, there's people out there that truly believe that like AI Vince Carter are all better than Jordan. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's no. It's not. It's not even I'm an more, argument. It's, it's not, not an argument. It's definitely a thing. It's but, not I mean, an argument. Okay, but he says Josh I, I, Allen, dude. Josh, he, and he said the goat is Patrick Mahomes. The goat, is Patrick Mahomes, thirty-six for forty-one. 336 passing yards. John, tell your wife I said hi. She had just saw her walk by. Tell her the uh, the pregnancy photo show was beautiful. Um. Well, I mean, you asked if I was pregnant or if she was pregnant. So I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to announce to the podcast listeners that I am losing weight. I'm actively. Dude, okay, actually, after. I will say this. Again, this has nothing to do with our podcast, but I just saw John like last week and boy's been putting in the work. Boy's been putting in the work. I have to. It's called the fridge. <laughs> it's also called fatty liver's disease. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Jack, tell us about this this Lions team. Tell us about them. So, Listen, starting man. off one and six, and now they're seven and seven. It's insane. I've lived in Michigan my entire life. They've always sucked. All right. For the first time, the the entire world is talking about the Detroit Lions. No one wants to play the Lions in the playoffs, dude. The Lions are hot right now. And it's crazy, man. It's never been done. Led by Aiden Hutchinson. Oh, Jared oh. Goff. Chris, who we Chris all is loving thought, it. Chris is loving it. Jared Goff, <laughs> who we all thought had peaked and was just on a steady decline until he was fired and never, you know, going to be a car salesman. But, dude, he's doing it. He's winning games. It's, it's, it's very exciting to see, man. I'm excited for the Lions, bro. Yeah, it's uh it's an exciting team to be part of, to be honest. I'm like, loving the Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson. Tell us and about play calling. That's what I'm loving. Yeah. Dude, the play calling for the Lions this year has been immaculate. What? He he just said see, what you said. See? Dude, it's, it must be a family we, thing. It is, dude. The we word is the, same. the word is immaculate, not It's imma- pristine. It's pristine. Better word. Immaculate. I think that's funny that you dude, said I that told you, and dude. that he said that. A man killing. Wait, say it again. They, immaculate. They just seem to know how to call the right plays over and over again. Yeah. John, what are your thoughts on these lions right now, man? Irrelevant. Oh my Ooh, god, dude. Wow. Wow. All right, man. You're you're fired. This is fun though, dude. John. John. Uh, it's just hot takes. Bro. It's just false. F- False, False advertisement. Basically, the Lions. I mean, are... on to the next game. Let's let's talk about the Packers ending the. Let's talk about the Lions John. and how Listen how. Me, Listen to me, John. The Lions started one in six. They had the toughest schedule in the NFL up weird. until this point, my guy. And tougher than the Chiefs. Tougher than the Chiefs. in a row, bro. You're crazy. Bro, they started off at one and seven. One and six. One and six. One and six. Yeah, they've been on a tear, dude. And no, for, it's... they're not irrelevant because in the playoffs, the, they're going to make playoffs. They have a legitimate shot. They do. They do. They have a legitimate shot, dude. Who, who Pull up the Lions and see who they play. Just click them. Oh, no, I can just go. No, you can just click the Lions. No, no, no. Watch. This is easier. Dude, just no, trust it's me. down here, dog. Just trust me. Go, where is it? Where is it? Dude. Where did it go? Oh. Oh. You went so far back. <laughs> Week 14. Who do they play? Oh, there it is. Right there. Click that. Click the Lions logo. Go to their uh, go, to, go to their games. Scroll down. Panthers, Bears, and Packers. Oh, dude. Oh, they're Panthers, beating, Bears, they're beating and the Panthers. Packers, they're going to beat the Bears. Packers, we'll see. They're going to be 10 and 7, buddy. <laughs> you you got to hear this hot take from the Kansas City kid. Oh, gosh. The kid... <laughs> That's going to be Josh Allen after he loses the championship. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Way to use your kid. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 
But yeah, no, the Lions are heating up and they legitimately have a spot in the playoffs, I think. And they're definitely not irrelevant. Not irrelevant at all. No. I mean, they beat they beat the Jets. They dude, they beat they beat the Jets, dude. Well, that's because Zach Wilson was playing, to be honest. Didn't they beat the Vikings too? They did beat the Vikings, actually. Like, yes, they, like, they have a legitimate shot. The like, Vikings are a top tier team. Zach, what if I told you we'll say even three years ago. Hey, man, in 2022, the Giants have a legitimate shot at making the playoffs. <laughs> what would you say? Well, Adam, I would have murdered you and buried you in my backyard because you were obviously <laughs> a criminal, my guy. You were obviously from the I'm future. I'm a criminal. I, you you want to know what I would have said? I would have killed it. your ass. Seek help. You know what I would have said? I'm a criminal, just like Eminem, the man from Detroit. Because every time I write it around, these people think it's a crime to tell them what's on my mind. Oh, he's got the bars. He's got the bars. Love. Listen, how come people from Detroit always have to tell you they're from Detroit? All Michigan people need to let you know they're from Michigan. And Yo, um, what's wrong with Michigan? Know, Yo, Michigan, Univer- University of what? Michigan, bro. Greatest, greatest football uh, football program in history. Most winningest, winningest team in football history. What's wrong with Michigan? There's a couple uh, most winningest, you know, NFL teams that are pretty garbage Look right now. So I, I don't, I don't think that's that matter. It doesn't matter because you know who's not garbage right now, the University of Michigan. But we don't need to get into that because you all know what our our stance is. Mine, Zach's, Austin's, even Chris's. We know, we we all know what our stance is on the University of Michigan and how much of a dog they are right now and how they're gonna win the Natty. They're gonna win the Natty. So, John, John, what's your what you do with this whole like lack of home state pride, hometown pride, my guy? He's a Kansas City fan. It, it just goes. Like, like, what's wrong with what's wrong with being like, yo, I'm from Michigan, homie. Yeah, yo, what's wrong with Michigan? I, I, got, I mean, dude, you're out here just like switching it up, my guy. What's going on? Like he switched up from the Patriots. <laughs> I mean, most Michigan people are the most belligerent. Um, I mean, just dude. What do you know? About about, wait, 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 wait. What do you know about the Midwest? They are literally known as the nicest people in the state. They're like, oh boy, my bad. I, I, I shoveled my yard, but I forgot to shovel yours. That's how people in the Midwest are, bro. You'll literally find a guy that'll plow his road, and then he'll be like, well, I got a little carried away, and I plowed every neighbor on my street's road because they're that nice of people. What do you mean belligerent? Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean belligerent, dude? Where are you getting exactly. your like, yeah, facts? Yeah, yeah. Where, I'm where? from Massachusetts. Okay, so is that stuff happening where you're from, Chris? Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, it does happen like that. Yeah, there are people that, that are nice like that. Yeah. Where, yeah, where I'm but, from. Where I'm my, from, my, yeah. my landlord sends, you know, somebody to clean outside. I mean, he's a pretty nice guy. Yeah, dude. Right, like, right. Why, so are, we, why are you attacking people? Other. Bro, we all take care of each other, no matter where we're from, man. No matter where we're from. That's the American dream, bro. Like, no. This guy's like, yo, you're from where I'm from? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. Adam, it sounds kind of like you want to move out there. You know, a little Michigan. Yeah, I thought about it, but Tony Nash can't offer me enough money. Can he, Zach? There's not a lot of people in the state of Michigan right now that can offer this guy enough money to move. It's true. Zach, you've been you've been to North Adams. What is it's this? a weird town, bro. North Adams is a weird town, but it's home. And what did I say to you, Zach? I said to you when we were driving around, I said, "Yeah, it's a little weird place, but it's home." Oh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful town, Letty. I mean, where else can you go to a local field for free and play football with the mountains literally surrounding you? In the mountains, in the valley, yeah. bro. We're we're dude, rally the valley, bro. I love that. <laughs> Dude, I honestly – listen, people talk a lot of trash about North Adams. They talk a little, a lot of trash about New England, bro. But this is like – this is prime time, dude. Like, Actually, can I – New England, the Massachusetts has the most in in sports history. Okay, we oh, – champ. I'm, yeah, no, this, we're just talking about places to live, though. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's – dude, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a really weird town, like, where Austin and I grew up, where Chris grew up. Like, it's a weird area. It definitely is. But, like, it's home. And, like, Chris, like, I mean, you live down in, in what, Maryland, right? In Baltimore. Baltimore, yeah. But every time you come back up here, you're like, it's home, right? It is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's my second home. 
You see what I'm saying though? Like it's it's uh <laughs> but you but you see what I'm saying? Like it's weird. It's a weird town, but every time like even when I was in college, like I went to Pe- Zach and I were in college in Pensacola and Pensacola's like a booming area, but like every time t- time I came back here, it was like, you know, this is this is home, dude. Like you know, a lot of people give it a lot of trash. It's you know, like a lot of people don't like it, but like, dude, this is my home. Like, I love my little town. Like, it's it's got issues. We got heroin addicts strung all over the place. But but you yep. you'll find that everywhere though. <laughs> but that's just it's it's me, bro. Like this is like a lot of people think I'm crazy. Like oh, people have been like oh, what do, what do you what do you think you're gonna do in the future? You think you're gonna move out? Like you think you're gonna go somewhere else? Like, no, dude, this is my home. Like, well, we're going to Kentucky, but that's a different story. Oh yeah, so I got Zach wants me to move. Zach, where where do you think Penford headquarters should be? Roanoke, bro, Virginia, dude. Yeah. Be, you got and the then, mountains, but, but it's not as cold as Massachusetts, bro. You, but you I, still got but, the mountains. But dude, I thrive, dude. I thrive in the cold, and you know that. Austin thrives in the cold. Oh, don't worry, it gets cold, just not like super cold no, for it's, like. I need, I need, I need here. snow. I got to be able to ski in New England, you know? But Penford, hopefully, will be making enough money where I can... Let's go skiing in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, uh, honestly, though, like, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 different. Zach wants me to move into Virginia. Uh, John and I are starting a church in Kentucky. Like, it's... Okay, it's but crazy. the Berkshires... Let's just talk about the Berkshires here. Dude, it's they mentioned in the, the song. They have the best um, scenery... Oh yeah, of fall, you know. Oh yeah, dude. Anywhere you go, you will beat, not find beat, beat a better place in the Berkshires. Right, you can't. No way. I cook. Who knows what happened over there? All right, let's talk about the Cowboys and Jaguars. This was a pick. This was a controversial pick by me, and I said this may <laughs> sound crazy, but this is an educated <laughs> guess. Really Jaguars are beating the Cowboys, and what did they do? They beat the Cowboys, and right now, Trevor Lawrence. Pull up the Jaguars uh, schedule. Trevor Lawrence is a legitimate playoff threat. Look at their schedule. Guess who they play, bro? Jets, they, Texans, and Titan Titans. Those are three wins. Uh, maybe not the Titans. Yeah, but those are th- two, a definite two. At, definite at two. Least maybe two not wins. the Texans. Maybe not the Texans. I mean, the Texans, not. bro. Don't try to justify Patrick Mahomes sucking. <laughs> the Texans bro. are an easy win. Bro. They're an easy win, bro. They're an actually easy win. So I'm not even worried about the Texans at all for for Trevor Lawrence. The kid's heating up right when he needs the heat up. So the I've, actually, I've said this for. Ever since he came and uh, Trevor Lawrence, I've been saying this. He's a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback, but he needs to be on a better team. He needs weapons, bro. Or, yes. What is a shooter without a gun to shoot? Nothing. Nothing. What is a shooter without a target to hit? Nothing. The man can shoot, but he's got no targets. Right. I I think he has weapons. I think he just needs a better coach. Honestly. Who? I mean... I mean, he has Kirk, he has um, Ingram. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's all he has. He has no running back. Honestly, hear me out. Hear me out. Put him on the 49ers. It's like, that's what I said. Bro, you put him on like, a team like Vikings. Lights out. Actually, even even the Lions for that, for Lights that out. matter. You know... But, uh, it is think, interesting though. Uh, I think you, have, like, that you have the Lions and the Vikings, both with these really old quarterbacks that have been in the league for a while. That have all, that have just kind of like meh. He goes on the Lions. They're going one and eleven. I mean, believe it or not, Jared Goff is just entering one his 16. prime. You think? Wait, say that again, Chris. Jared Goff is just entering his prime. He's playing the best football of his career. Wow. I'd, I mean, I'd say so. Yeah. No, for sure, definitely. Definitely. Yep. The only other close time is when if he had you, Gurley. If you told me last year at the like when the trade happened, or not last year, uh, when the trade yeah, happened. No, when the trade happened between Goff and um, Stafford. Stafford. If you told me Jared Goff is going to heat up and this is long term, this isn't going to be good for the Rams. I probably would have thought you were crazy. I probably would have laughed at you, but I don't know. I mean, Matt Stafford couldn't get it done this year he got it done last year but he couldn't get it done this year but Jared Goff, for, yeah he's been injured it's it's not nobody around him has been has been injured 
Everybody around him is yeah. getting injured, and it it's just not good for him. It's yeah. not good for the team either. So, yeah. All right, let's move on to the best team in football this year, the Eagles and the Bears. The Eagles got another win, but honestly, honestly, I I don't I don't want to say that they've been on a decline. But they've kind of been just scraping by with games. Have you noticed this? The like, Eagles have the easiest schedule out of any NFL team, and that's a hot. That's take. actually pretty red hot. true. No, that's actually <laughs> holds up a bottle of red hot. That's actually a pretty legitimate take, though. I mean, I I've been saying this like Jalen Hurts is a good QB, but wait till he faces good quarterbacks. Wait till he faces a Josh mm. Allen. Wait till he faces a oh wait no Joe Burrow. Can't say that. Why is Josh, Josh Allen always first? Can we right, can we right. just See? say Patrick Mahomes? We first, can't please. say that because Josh Allen's a bum. Remember? Oh, that's true. But you wait till he faces Joe Burrow. Wait till he faces someone like that. Like I don't I don't know if Jalen can play under that intense pressure personally. But I also think that Jalen's not that great of a quarterback. I think he's a good quarterback, but I think the Eagles offense is unreal. I mean, AJ Brown, dude, is an unreal player right now. You watch AJ Brown and he is going off. He's a top five wide receiver. Hear me out though. Hear me out. Imagine Trevor Lawrence on the Eagles. <laughs> Yo, that would be nuts. That would be an inc- that would be a creep. Because I think Trevor Lawrence is a better QB. I don't. That's Trevor not, Lawrence is going to go down as one of the Jags' greatest quarterbacks. Well, that's not that hard. <laughs> of, all, of all time. And it's not. No, it's not. It's not. But I, I think he's going to have um, a long-term career in Jacksonville. I don't think they're going to end up trading him. I think he's just going to grow and grow, and they're going to just build around him. Read us off the stats for Jalen in that game. 22 for 37, which is... Okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay. 315, 315 yards, phenomenal. Zero Probably like tidies. a 70.2 QBR rating. Dude, when I said Mahomes had 336, you didn't say phenomenal. What's going on? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't... Listen. All right. Next game. Falcons and Saints. Saints won at 21 to 18. Then we move on to the Patriots... And the Raiders. This was a heartbreak Dude, game. Now that we have both, off. we have both um, Chris and Austin on. What a heartbreak of an ending! Why don't Why don't you just take the take the just go into let overtime. the clock run out? Go, go into overtime. overtime. It's a it's way better way to. It's better to lose in overtime than on a play like that. In my all opinion. you had to do, Ramondre Stevenson should have just ran out of bounds. Yeah, that's all you had to do is just run out of bounds. Let the clock. Just that's some school time yard per- time, time it perfectly so there's no time on the clock. Force it into overtime and take your chances. Yeah, it was it was honestly heartbreaking to watch that because I mean that was like literally they just just could have gone into overtime, but he throws it and Jacoby Myers off. being a former quarterback. Yeah, so do, 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 taking that chance. Yeah, throwing that ball like that. Yeah. And then uh, Patriots QB just got, like, pile drive. He just <laughs> stepped hard into the ground. I'm sick of it. I wasn't paying attention. Was it Mac or Zappy playing that game? Mac. Yeah. Mac just got stiff-armed. Like, he just got pushed over. It, it Zappy is like, a dog. Oh my Zappy is a dog. dog. Zappy is a dog. You say Mac Jones? No, Zappy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, Mac Jones, a 13 for 31. Ugh. That's not even a 50%. Oh, my gosh. That's bad. 112 yards. That no touchdowns, gar- no picks. That's just sad. That's probably the horrible. It's garbage. Tough way to lose a game. Tough way to lose a game. And then it happened. The Broncos country rode. They rode. Russell Wilson finally got a win, and it didn't even matter. Because he didn't play. He didn't? No. Who played? The, uh, Brett Ripien. R- oh, Ripien. see, I didn't watch the game. Man, but Broncos Country Road. <laughs> That's it. Broncos Country. Say it with me. Let's, Let's ride. ride. You always miss it, bro. bro I'm, One, two, three. Let's, Let's ride. ride. You still I'm, missed I it, did, bro. All right. One, two, three. Let's, Let's ride. ride. <laughs>
it took it took you it took you it took you 13 episodes yeah <laughs> 13 episodes and you got it but the broncos country 24 to 15 they beat the cardinals not really saying much because for a, cardinals don't have for, kyler for ripian it does oh well, but they didn't have kyler no what i'm saying is they haven't had a win in a while Oh well, no. I and mean, then the Russell record Wilson is, gets gets injured. The record is four and ten, and the Broncos win a game. Yeah, that's true. Russell Wilson gets injured. That is true. Tell us, tell us, is Russell Wilson going to be the backup? Tell us what you feel about <laughs> Russell Wilson, John. I want to hear your take on Russell as you raise. He raised his hand, bro, on the Zoom. Tell us about Russell. You're muted. No, dude, you should just let it go. <laughs> You're muted, and you Austin know, wanted me to let it go. One thing I forgot to say on my Chiefs bit was uh, this is the seventh year in a row we win the division. Um, I mean, everybody was talking hot at the beginning of the year. Oh, my God, the Broncos, um, you know, the Raiders, uh, the Chargers. Uh, you know, the, the Chiefs don't stand a chance without Tyreek Hill. Um, I think Russell Wilson is 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 washed. Washed? Uh, I, think, um, I think he's overpaid. Oof. Um, I think he should be third string. Wow. And, um, you know, I just never liked the guy, you know, just, I don't really like baseball players like that. You know what I mean? I'm not a baseball <laughs> guy. I, uh, I, you're I, a clown, bro. You know, I, you're a clown. So you don't like I Kyler either? Of the Lord, but, um, you know, even then. So you don't like Kyler Murray either? He is. Kyler Murray runs like a baby, like a small child. Well, he's built like a small child. Right. He's he's built like a small child. That's not all there. I, I'd say that. Um, he plays like that. I think he's wasted talent. Um, he's good boys with uh, with Cam Newton. So um, who is you know, that says a you lot mean, about You him. mean Scam Newton, right? <laughs> Scam Newton. Yep. You know. All right. Oh, interesting. Cam Newton on Nick Cannon time. You know what I mean? Hopefully, Bang- one of his kids <laughs> have to be oh, a good QB. All right, Bengals and Bears. You told me I was crazy, Austin. You B- told Bengals me and Bucks. you really. Oh, Bengals and Bucks. Yeah. You told me you think Tom Brady's gonna lose twice in a row. You think? Tom- yeah. Guess what he did, bro. Yeah. Well, guess I'm what? Be honest with guess you? what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 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 Guess what? 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 You're right. I know I'm right. Thank. Thank you for telling. You owe me ten dollars. You owe me ten dollars. <laughs> Austin and I bet on last week's episode. Let me. Let's give a little replay. I'll bet you. Fifteen dollars, and then you said, "Let's make it ten. And then we did this, and I just won the easiest ten dollars of my life. Ooh, I like the way you're massaging my hands. It makes my knuckles feel nice. That was yeah. nice. <laughs> but the Bengals, honestly, Joe Burrow kind of pulled up, pulled a, a Tom Brady on Tom Brady. Pull up the, uh, watch, look at the box score. The what? The oh. box score. Three. That's kind. Of, he kind of pulled a Tom Brady on Tom. You know, I actually I called my brother Chris. I called him. You called me too, and you were I, like, I ca- "Screw I, you, screw you." I called them, and I was like, "Dude, but it was." Oh, Zach's raised his hand. Hold on, it's and four- John's raised his hand. We got two hand raises. I was like, "Dude, it's seventeen. It's it's uh, it's fourteen to three, dude." Just you know, let he's it like, go. "You thought you thought Burrow was gonna beat Brady." You think you thought Brady was gonna lose two games in a row? I'm like, yeah, he is gonna lose two games in a row. Ooh, this is interesting. Please, Zach, we'll go to you first, and then John had an interesting chat that he want. I'm gonna go to next. Let's start with the chat, bro. All right, John, please tell everybody what you put in the chat. When my kids are older, mm. is Tom Brady gonna be remembered as the goat? Mm. Yes. Or is he going to be like? Yeah, because you know, you're never going to see a quarterback does in our lifetime. You're maybe not even no, your kids' you lifetime. You're yeah. never. Gonna yes, see he will. Yes, he will. You're never going to see a quarterback uh, do what Tom Brady did. You know, and I and I think that's what um, you know, seventy year olds with Parkinson say about Joe Montana and you know those old guys. No, I think, not uh, at all, bro. You, you know what I mean? I, but here's I, I the deal: it's just not because even from that. Time. But it's not even like the Jordan yeah. Lebron convo. It's it's totally different. Nobody in football has ever ever done what tom brady did in his what has career tom brady done? what what has he done seven rings bro <clears throat> tom, the... tom tom brady's in his own category yeah he's yeah a... <laughs> he's nobody around him he's on All his right. own island let's go to zach no no no. i want to i want to say something on john's 
will my will my kids hear that Tom Brady was the goat or will their Yeah, because their, their uncle Adam Malachuk will tell them. Are and you know I don't even people... like I didn't even like the Patriots. I'm a Giants fan, bro. Actually, we 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 really hate you. <laughs> As a no, as a giant, the Patriots hate the Giants. Oh for, no, for, I know. Oh no, I know. I was like, wait, you hate me? <laughs> I was like, why am I doing a podcast with you? No, the Patriots hate the Giants. But um, I did. Accurate. I did want to say, hey John, did you know that uh, Patrick Mahomes was a baseball player, right? <laughs> <laughs> He left. <laughs> he left. <laughs> he left. He left. All right, Zach, let's go to you. <laughs> wow, that was it. Dang. That was dr- a uh, dramatic ending. We'll see if he rejoins. That was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. So his question there was great, though. When his kids grow up, will Tom Brady be remembered as the GOAT? Now, there's obviously great players throughout history. The game evolves very rapidly. I mean, we've seen how – how much the NFL has changed at least in the past 10 years, you know? So the game changes very quickly. And yes, there's going to be a whole, you know, slew of amazing players, you know, that are going to be remembered as greats like Dan Marino and, you know, all these guys. But Tom Brady is that once in a generation type player like a Michael Jordan that comes in and wins that many championships. I mean, it's, it's unheard of, right? So there's like Serena Williams, there's Tom Brady, Slim Shady, right? I mean, there's only a, a few people that can do this kind of stuff, guys. He says Slim Shady. So listen, I was, I was, I was getting ready to say the same thing, and you kind of covered it. It's called, it's called generational football. Yeah, go on, bro. It's called generational football. Each generation has that guy, you know. That woman, everybody, everybody from each generation remembers that one person. Mm-hmm. Thank you for okay. keeping it gender neutral on the show. You know there is men and women, both great in sports. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely! Holy cow! Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I Serena mean, Williams, bro. I, Serena but, Williams, one of the greatest. The queen of tennis, bro. Mm-hmm. But Tom Brady, Tom Brady is that guy, and will always be that guy until another wins seven Super Bowls, another with. You know, the most passing yards in NFL history, the most passing touchdowns in NFL history, and so on and so forth. Many accolades. John said that um, he actually loves baseball players, so good for him, dude. He, he so, said he hates baseball players. No, but now he, he said he loves he, baseball he players. He hated baseball players as, as quarterbacks. And now he says he loves baseball players. So it's very interesting. But Tom Brady is the GOAT. He was the GOAT it's this past hands, weekend. It's hands down. Yeah, I think – Overall career, yeah. Right now, I mean, Tom Brady's forty-five years old. If you, his oh, arm's gonna fall off. If you expect him to keep up with these young, really talented quarterbacks like, like Joe Burrow, like, I, I think that I think that like you know that's that's a high expectation for mm-hmm. him. So yeah. and but he's going through a lot. Yeah, he really is going a lot. And, like, and people are like, oh, I separate the game from my personal. No, you. Yeah, you can, but to a certain level, dude. You can to a certain level. You can to a certain level. He said Mahomes is no, the goat. John said Mahomes is the goat. John is John's mic apparently isn't working. Caught that fruit fly. Okay, well apparently his brain isn't either. either so. Yeah, I want to. He's he's chowing down on something right now. Talk to us, John. What are you eating? Brothers Pizza. Hot take. Brothers Pizza is actually very very good, and it's right down <clears throat> the road from you. Walking distance. Yeah, I mean, walking distance for a thinner fellow. <laughs> but oh yeah. All right, let's talk about the Titans game. We are we're we're really running up the time. Should be a this. two hour episode. Yeah, this is a long episode. I mean, we're we're already a minute and eight, uh, an hour and eight minutes deep. But let's just keep it rolling. We're getting we, we're getting it after it. It's just we're getting after it. It's like really uh, are. Let's, know, talk the, the, let's talk Super about the Titans race. game. This is a game that uh, <laughs> this is a game uh, that you know it was a big game. Chargers won it. You know, improving their record eight and six, and the Titans lost, and now they're at a five hundred seven and seven. Anybody here watch that game? Because I did not. I didn't either. Nope. Uh, well, we do know that the uh, the Chargers lost. Big game right here. I want to talk about my team, the New York Football Giants. Char- Chargers beat... won. Oh, did I say the Titans won? No, I thought I said, you said the Chargers won. lost. Or I said I thought I said the Titans lost. Either way, Chargers beat the Titans. You know what? I'm glad. You know what? 
F that. I'm glad to talk about this this topic. Right All right, here. I am too. Giants beat the Commanders twenty to twelve. They were getting after it. You know why I'm and excited? It came close. Tell me why you're excited. That pi that was not called. I, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. You know. I'm a, I'm a Giants you, fan, but that was clearly passing. Okay, ass. thank you. Yeah, that's And not, that that would have gave them a – I'm not saying they would have won. Yeah. But that would have gave them a better chance to win. Yeah. You know, that they would have been, what, half the distance of the goal? Yeah, um, I mean, it was still – Yeah. It was still – it was so close. I mean, it was – they would have had to – No, dude, it, it, it was they a They would have scored and um, to a conversion. To go at least that was definitely – no. I, and I – I can be one to say that, you know, I, I, you. I'm man enough Thank to you. admit that that was a pass interference. Like, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Like, I'm unfortunately not. Nothing the Chiefs do is wrong. I mean, but whatever. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I can admit <laughs> that that was pass interference, and I can admit that the refs really blew that call. Like, they 100 percent did. But I don't think either the Commanders or Giants are good enough teams that they actually have the funds to pay off the refs like some teams like you know have in the past. I'm Speaking of funds Patriots. and the Washington yeah. Commanders, well, who did? They're, they're the Washington Commanders are getting ready to sell for six billion dollars. I was just about to ask, when are they selling the team, man? Give it a couple weeks, I six would say. Mil? Six bill. Yep. Six wow. billion dollars. Wow, that's, that's the impressive. asking price. Yeah. That was a, that was a big. Game. Hopefully, hopefully the owner is man enough to go back to the Redskins. I mean, just full send you it. Mean the foreskins. Send right? it back. The foreskins. <laughs> they could you they imagine that would be huge if they went they, back they couldn't the, they wouldn't they wouldn't but that would be hilarious dude what if, the force <laughs> no if they went oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i said they won dude but could you imagine that's crazy and then the last game of the week we had uh the rams and the packers and this is another win that i picked packers blew it away 24 to 12. i believe you said rams or no no you did say packers that's right yeah my and, apologies. And I said, because I said, if Baker wins, I'm not upset if, right, if right. I get this pick wrong. Right, 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 right. Chris, you don't know this, um, but I literally called every single game correctly on last week's episode. Really? I yeah. told him. I told him he should have been on Pick'ems, dude. I I had every game correct. Pick's game Pick'ems, yeah. You should have done I had every game yeah. correct. And I don't think I'll ever do that again in my life, but <laughs> yeah, the the... Packers got a win. Aaron Rodgers, my guy, 24 to 12. That's a wrap on that. Let's get into uh, – let's go into next week. And what I want to do is I want to – I want everybody's – we got to make this quick, but I want to make – I want to hear everybody's – we're not doing uh, by points. We're just going to do who's winning week 16. Uh, we'll go me, Austin, then we'll do – Zach, Chris, and then John. So we're going to go in that order. Uh, first game this Thursday, Jaguars at Jets. Give me the Jaguars. Yeah, I think the Jags get it done. Zachary. Uh, the Green Bay Cowboys, baby. No, it's, it's, it's Jags or Jets. You know I always go with that little kid, man. He's going to get some more ice All cream right, this Jets. week. Your Christopher. Jet. Yeah, I had to go with the Jaguars in this one. Okay. Jonathan. Tough choice, but I'm going with the Jets. Okay, interesting. So we're split about half, halfway. All right, well, we got this. Five of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized that as I was saying it, but it wasn't going to stop. Uh, Saints and Browns. Give me the Saints. You know, give me the Browns. Give me them Saints, baby. Drew Brees is going to do it this <laughs> week. Let's go. He's going to get it done this week. Oh, did you see that they signed Drew Brees to Purdue? Yeah, Purdue, dude, that was yep. insane. That was awesome. And I told Adam, I was like, dude, any quarterback that comes out of Purdue is going to be amazing. Nasty. Nasty. All right, Chris, <laughs> your pick. Um, I'm going to go. I, I think the Browns get it done this time. Mm. Okay. I'm calling the Browns on a blowout. They're okay. winning. Bengals and Patriots, you know I have to do it. Give me Joe Burrow and the Bengals. I'll come back to it. Skip me. No, just say it. Just say it. Patriots. Dude, I have to. I can't. I, I get it. I get I, it. I, I get actually, it. you know what? No, I will, actually. Give me the Bengals. 
Okay. I will actually. I, I honestly appreciate the honesty. I, like I do. Like I know we all. Like I know I. I know want we. Yeah. Patriots. No. I know. I know we all have, I have to go so for, much hype for. I know we have to all go for our team, but at some point, like I appreciate. No, the you realism. don't. You don't. You don't always have to go for your team. No, it's okay. the logic well, behind it's, it. It's Zach's your turn. Your team Chris. don't always it's win. Okay. <laughs> it's just how it is. It's football. Zach. I gotta go with the Bengals here, baby. Okay. Christopher. Yeah, I'm going Bengals on this one too. And John. He knows. He Did knows. he glitch? Oh, he jo- left. John left, so we don't have John. All right. Uh, everybody's going Bengals. All right, Bills and the Bears. Give me the Bills. Yeah, give me the, the Bills. You know, it's Josh Allen time, baby. We're we're almost in the postseason. I got the Bills, baby. <laughs> yes, right now. They're hot. Yeah, Mr. I'm going Bills, too. Yep. All right. Giants and Vikings. This is actually going to be a good game. Um, yeah. And I'm not just doing this because it's my team, but I, I, I think that the Giants have a legitimate chance. So give me the, the give me the Giants. Give them Vikings soon. What did Alicia Keys say after Jay Z dropped that sick verse? In New York, concrete <laughs> <jungle, laughs> <laughs> jungle, <laughs> there's nothing you can't do. Zach and I once performed that in Chicago. We performed Empire State of Mind in Chicago, and the crowd was loving it. Is is that Gee, a fair it. assessment, Zach? It looks like Zach's in a drive-thru ordering some food right now. Is that a fair assessment that we killed it and the crowd loved it in Chicago? More than fair assessment. Ah, right. We have video evidence for that. Yeah, you know this. You know this. And All right, Chris. You know this. <laughs> Who are you taking? Yeah, definitely taking Vikings on this one. Okay. Uh, Lions and the Panthers. Let the Lions eat. King of the jungle. Let him eat. Go Pretty Lions. Much. Give me the Panthers. No, I'm ki- I'm kidding. I was gonna I'm say, kidding. bro. I was gonna I say, knew you're- bro. <laughs> Give me them lions, dude. They're on a roll. Zach, lions or panthers? I know what you're gonna say. Panthers. <laughs> Listen, guys. The start of the podcast, the start of the season, I was against the lions, but they're hot. I can't be betting against Detroit right now. Detroit's hot. They're rolling. You can't be betting against these guys. All right. All right. Go Thanks. lions. Go lions. Christopher. Yeah, go lions. Go Lions. Our baby. Uh, yeah, uh, go whoever the Lions are playing. They're whoever playing the it Panthers. Is. And you also didn't oh, yeah. get to say, so are you going to say Bengals or Patriots? It's, it, I mean, it's Patriots all day. I, it's oh, a no-brainer. Gosh. And then Bills or Bears? Oh, it's the Bears. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then Giants or Vikings? I think the Giants might might steal a win. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, next game, we got the Seahawks and the Chiefs. Give me the Seahawks. Yeah, dude, Seahawks. Let's go. Seahawks for life. Zach. <laughs> You're muted. It's going to be them Seahawks, baby. Woo! Gino, get it done. He's on a roll. You Christopher. He was a fluke. He ain't no fluke. Let's go. Hi. Uh-huh. Christopher. Um, Tyler Lockett's injured. Oh, you fuck. Um, Kenneth Walker's looking a little shaky off that game. No, I'm going to go Chiefs. Okay. And Jonathan, we know what you're going to say. Listen, listen, listen. The listen, Chiefs Linda. beat the 49, 44 to 23. What do you think they're going to do to the Seahawks? It's going to be a blowout. Mahomes is starting for 500. All right, Texans and the I'm Titans. Give me the – dude, the Texans are 1-12? in 12? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I showed them the worst team in the league. I didn't know they were that bad. Give me yeah, the Titans. Dude. No, they actually played pretty good last week. I mean, Give me the Titans. Yeah. Different, different, different teams. Titans. Zach. Okay, so I don't think I got to pick the Chiefs game, but they're definitely going to lose this week, guys. No, you did pick. You said the Seahawks. So Texans are Titans. Okay, no. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, I got to say, <laughs> go Raiders. They're not, 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 not that game. <laughs> <laughs> Texans are Titans. <laughs> Is Derrick Henry still the Titans or what? Yes. 
That's actually, yeah, he actually is. Let's roll, baby. All right. Mike Vrabel, let's let's do it. Your uncle? Your uncle, Mike Vrabel? (laughs) Let's go. All right, Christopher. Derrick Henry has owned the Houston Texans for years now. Hmm. I'm been picking the Titans on this one. And Jonathan. Jonathan. How about those Texans, man? Oh let's go. Gosh. Let's get let's make that two and twenty four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> two and twenty four. Falcons and Ravens. Uh give me the Falcons. I think Lamar's coming back. Oh, is he back? I if Lamar's he... back, actually no, give me the Ravens. I think he is coming back. So, yeah, give me the Ravens. Chris, are you a Ravens fan? Because you live in Maryland, right? We're not. Not a Ravens fan. Bummer. Bummer. Dude. Yeah, but he grew up in the cold-hearted streets of New England. That's right. That he did. Exactly. I'm going with the Ravens this week, guys. I'm going with the Ravens. All right. Chris? I'm going with the Falcons. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Falcons taking the deep. Oh, my OCD just kicked in. <laughs> They're good. Okay. Uh, commanders and 49ers. Give me them 49ers. Give me Dirty Purdy in the pocket. Yeah, I have to go Brock Purdy there. Zach? <laughs> Yo, give me them Green Bay motherfucking Cowboys, baby. Let's go. It's not e- – dude, it's Commanders or 49ers. It's not that hard. All right. San Francisco is going to get the dub, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay. That's sad. Chris? Give me the minor 49ers. Minor and 49ers. Jonathan. Yeah, I'll go Niners. All right. Wow. Eagles and Cowboys. Fly, Eagles, fly. Do yeah. not overlook this game. No, I think I think the Cowboys are getting this. Still okay. hard. Zach? Jalen Hurts, he's hot right now, baby. I say the Eagles keep winning. So it's in his shoulder. Yeah, Jalen Hurts is uh, on. Sprained shoulder. Yeah, sprained shoulder. So, Christopher. So you say he's not playing? No, he's not. Oh, what? Oh, That's give what me I the said. Cowboys. Ah, I thought Jalen was playing. Give me no. Cowboys. Who, who's the backup? I want to know who I'm putting my money on. Gardner Minshew. Oh, Gardner Minshew? Give me the Eagles. Yeah. Are you kidding? You guys got a stash that'll kill women, bro. Ah! Give me the guy's got a stash almost as nice as yours, Austin. Almost as nice. Almost the game's gonna nice. fourth and one, and they're just gonna run the QB sneak. They're just gonna win it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Raiders and Eagles. All of us on the show have said it before. We'll say it again. Go Raiders. Uh, Who is it? Raiders, Wait, and Raiders, and who? Raiders and Steelers. Give me the Raiders. Steelers, Steelers, okay. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. Zach, say it with me. Yo, I actually got to go with the Steelers today. Oh, bro, my gosh. <laughs> no, yeah. I ain't lying, though. He took the headset off. He's gone. That Adam was us. The podcast. He is gone. He said he, he's gone. Adam said he's, he's breaking up with you, Zach. Zach. Every once in a while, the story has a sharp left turn that you don't see coming. It wasn't a go Raiders today, baby. It was a Pittsburgh Steelers getting it done. Zach, he's, 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 Zach Adam he's said. Gone, he's going to find you. Adam said, uh, y'all are broken. We had up. an understanding, Zach. Yeah. We had an understanding. It was go Raiders to the, to the day I die. Christopher, who did you say? And you died, son. Um. I got to go with the Raiders on this. Okay, perfect. And Jonathan. I'm calling Steelers. I want to see that confused, scrunch, you know, sad face on Josh McDaniel's face when they lose. You know, he just starts getting confused when the game doesn't go his way. I I, I really want to see him get fired. So uh, I'm going Steelers. Okay. Then we got the Packers and the Dolphins. Give me the Packers. Oh, you're ridiculous. Get out. No, the Dolphins has been on a steady, steady. Dude, they just went to Buffalo in the cold and played a hell of a game. I mean, I, no, uh, hold on, hold. It, I believe it's my turn, but um, the Bill- what I'm I saying mean, is, I- what I'm saying is, Dolphins have been on a steady decline. 
And I think this is the game that they get that they get the revenge. So I'm going Dolphins. Man, Jonathan just said he he wished somebody was going to get fired, and Adam just said, "Okay," and then went on to the next thing. Yeah, I don't that care. That was good. That was. Good. I've had to fire people. Absolutely. Oh, you fired a couple people. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> I was one. <laughs> Who is the pick this week? I said the I said the Packers. What Austin say? Austin said the Dolphins. That's right, dude. Mike McDaniel. These Dolphins have been a little bit of slump. They're coming back. They're playing tough. If it mm. would have been anybody other than the Bills last week, they would have got the win. All right, just make they your pick. Half. Mike McDaniel is a fierce leader. The Dolphins get the win this week, baby. Mike Miami. McDaniel looks like Andy Sorensen. <laughs> that's, that's why we love him, dude. He's a, he's a thug. All right, Chris. That genius. Dolph- Dolphins. Give, and, me the uh, give me the flipping Dolphins. And, and John. Going for the Steelers, man. Well, it's Dolphins Packers. <laughs> Whatever. Broncos and Rams. Broncos country. Let's ride. Uh, is is Russell Wilson still out, Christopher? That's that's questionable. Well, that's still to be talked about. If Russell Wilson's sure. out, then give me them. Let's ride. If he's you're out, saying as long, you're saying as long as Russell Wilson's out, the Broncos are winning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said yes. earlier. I yes, mean, how I does completely. how does um? <laughs> I love it, bro. How does how does Russell Wilson listen? Listen, listen, listen. How what? does Russell Wilson, you know, the starter, continuing to lose games, and then when he's out, they win a game with with the backup quarterback? The valid question. Maybe Russell Wilson's not the guy. Mm. That's 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 bold. That's bold. All right, Christopher. Um, you said Rams, right? Rams Broncos. Yep. Yeah, I'm going Rams. And John. I'm going. I'm going Rams. Yeah. All right, Buccaneers at Cardinals. Give me the Bucks. <clears throat> Give me the Bucks, dude. He's not winning three in a row. He's not losing three in a row. I got to go with Tom Brady right now. It's Yeah. We're near the postseason. You know he's going to be hot. TB12. Oh, hold up. TB12. Yeah, Tom, Tom Brady's go. not losing to Colt McCoy in the Arizona Cardinals. And Jonathan, the You're ex-Brady Cardinal. lover. You went Cardinal? Oh, my God. I'm done. Chargers and Colts. But he loves baseball players. Give me, give me the Chargers. <laughs> that way they can see it. Tom Brady was a baseball player too. That's right. Chargers and Colts. Give me the Chargers. Yeah. Give me the lightning bolts there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to them Colts last week, man? A complete disaster as we started the podcast with. But I say they come back this week. Give me them Colts, baby. Indianapolis gets the win. Let's go. Fire it up. I'm going Colts. And Christopher? Indianapolis gets it done without Jonathan Taylor? I think not. I'm going Bolts. Thank you for being smart. So that is all the games for next week. Um, Does anybody have any closing statements or closing arguments before we end the pod? Go ahead. Patrick Mahomes sucks. Woo! Jonathan, go ahead and make your closing statement. Jonathan. It's Mahomes' MVP year. He's in the race. I mean, it's over. It's game over. Nobody's played like him. Nobody will play like him. Tom Brady. Uh, I've 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 never seen Tom Brady. We have another alert. Ladies and gentlemen, he's hammered. <laughs> Zach, do you have anything you'd like to say before we end this show? Never bet against 
Them Green Bay motherfucking Cowboys, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Christopher, anything you'd like to say before we close the show out? <laughs> no, let's get it on. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an episode tonight. Longest episode we've ever had. I want to thank all of our guests from starting off with Andy Sorensen. Thanks for making another appearance two weeks in a row. I want to thank uh, Zach and Christopher, as always, our loyal guests. Our loyal, they're almost co-hosts at this point. Yeah. Um, and then we want to give a big shout out to John. We want to thank you for coming out, um, giving us all these hot takes. Um, he still got his hand raised, but we're not going to go to him because we got to end this show. Um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we we have had a great time so far this season, and things are starting to cook up with the playoffs, and we're really excited to see what happens. But you know, as always. You can catch us here on Penford Sports. Um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Please like, comment, share. Let us know what your favorite part was. We really would appreciate it. If you have anything you want us to talk about, let us know. Um, please, do the honor. Sign us off, Austin. No, I'm all right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Penford Sports. Hope you have a fantastic week of football. We'll catch you here next week on the most reliable NFL show on the internet. This has been Penford Sports. We are signing off. Go Chiefs.